Hello, it's Miss Calatrava here from Year 2 Adventure Class. Um, I'm coming to you, to you via video because we are discussing our curriculum meeting, which unfortunately you are unable to come to in school. Um, so we're doing this via video. So I'll just present my slides and then we'll go through this and I will talk through as we're presenting. So, oh, let me just go back. I need to present. Bear with me. Let me just double check that I presented. Hang on. I just remembered I missed a step. There we go. OK, so this is our curriculum meeting for the year 2020 to 21. Um, this is the top space of our Google Classroom. So this is just a reminder, if you haven't managed to go onto Google Classroom just yet, um, please log in because that will have further information that we'll be talking about throughout this um, PowerPoint uh, presentation. Sorry. Um, so in Adventure Class Year 2, this is our staff. We've got me, Miss Calatrava, which is a class teacher, Mrs Elborn, who is our LSA, our lovely LSA, and um, We've got Mrs. Numa, which hopefully you will remember from last year. Obviously, as you can see, I can, haven't got a picture of her just yet. And also Mrs. McLean, who is our MSA. So she works with our children um, and um, supervises our lunch times with them alongside Mrs. Elborn. So the children have got to know her really well um, and they are getting used to our uh, day, our routine. Sorry, thank you. Um, our routines, our daily routines, coming into school, you all know to come into school from the Key Stage 1 playground using the gates by the Children's Centre. Um, and you enter our doors, at our adventure door, which is in the picture at 8.45, we open our doors. And we do close our doors at 8.51. So if you are running late, unfortunately, you will have to go to the office to um, have your child come into, our, into school. Um, we are collected in the same place and you're doing a great job of keeping two metres apart and staying a little bit further back from the door just so that um, we've all got space to come out and we're all keeping our distance. So thank you for doing that. And we do open our doors at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, if you have any changes on, a, uh, of, or if, anyone is if anyone's picking up your child that's different and there's a change, can you just inform the office so that we can put it onto our collection list? Thank you. Um, the COVID measures that we're doing at school at the moment is that we are doing a lot of hand washing, which you would remember from summer before summer. Um, so we do wash our hands before and after school, um, before and after snack, before and after lunch, and after coughing or sneezing, sneezing, and any time they've used the toilet. Um, we do have you introduce antibac gel, and this is when if the toilets and the sinks are full, then we will ask your child to use antibac gel, sit down for a moment, and then when the toilet and the sinks are free, that your child can go and wash their hands. This happens um, at the beginning of school, before and after break, before and after mile run, um, outside activities, and whenever we needed it in class, if we're changing anything, changing our, reason, uh, changing our resources or our reading books. <clears throat> We are also limiting our shared resources. Um, in their packs, each, each of your children will have a pack to themselves, and each pack will contain resources that they will need for every lesson. Um, there'll be stationery, any resources, mass resources mainly, and we will potentially be, ha we hand out our exercise books, which aren't in their packs, but we'll take them back in. Um, each, if we are sharing resources, they are cleaned after each use. Also, if I've touched your child's resource, I'll be wiping down the resource before and after I've used it, and also hand anti back in my hands as well as I go through throughout the classroom. Um, we do have a thorough cleaning rotor before and after school, which is checked throughout the day. Tables are cleaned if lunch is eaten in a classroom if the day isn't if the weather isn't so lovely. Um, we have regular cleaning of toilets and communal areas. The classroom layout doesn't look quite like this at the moment. If you've noticed, it has changed slightly. So we have gone back to groups. So we are having potentially three table, three tables grouped together in a line or two tables, um, which are still socially distanced um, with spaces. Um, but obviously, obviously, the children all have a learning partner, which they aren't social distancing from, but we are trying to keep it where possible. Um, and we also have included our carpet space, which has really improved our learning and has regained our focus with the children um, immensely. So that's really worked, um, which is great. Um, our PE days, which I've noticed there is a mistake, um, are Tuesday and Thursday. So not Tuesday and Friday, Tuesday and Thursday are our, our PE days. 
Um, we've asked you to send your child in in their peak kit, which you've done an amazing job. Um, this is including uh, their house collar t-shirt, black shorts or trousers, plain jumper and trainers. Um, sometimes we do go outside for PE, mostly on a Tuesday. So if you can um, have your child come in suitable clothing, such as a hoodie or a jacket if needed um, to do our PE lesson that day, that would be great. Um, if you have accessed Google Classroom, you would have noticed that there are two areas on our Google Classroom. One, it says social, I, sorry, self-isolation and distance learning, and the other one says home learning. If you have unfortunately had to self-isolate, um, we will be providing home um, learning for you to do at home, which will be reflecting our learning in class, and this will be posted weekly. Um, this will include a daily a uh, daily focus of writing, maths, and any other daily learning that we're doing. Um, teachers will not be providing feedback for you on the classroom, but when your child returns back to school, they will provide feedback then. Um, and if you can continue, if you do are self-isolating, then can, can, can you continue to submit the learning through the assignment? Um, home learning, which hopefully you've all been able to see now, um, is on the Google Classroom. So you will have noticed that there are two documents. One is home learning, one is the knowledge organizer. This obviously is shared on the Google Classroom now. Um, if you can submit your child's learning through the Google Classroom, um, our expectation is that we're still doing daily uh, phonics and no, numbots and reading every day. Um, home learning is due on the day on the 23rd of October, which is on which is on the sheet of the home learning. Um, if you do make a model, please send photos or videos rather than bring it into school. And we have closed our Twitter account, so everything will be posted on the Google Classroom for now. Um, sadly, we are unable to take our children to on any school trips this term. Hopefully in the new year, we can keep you posted um, on if anything changes, which hopefully it will. And there'll be something to look forward to. Um, at the moment, we are in a mass recovery. So we are continuing our daily fluency and daily timetable practice. And we are trying to include regular gaming in our learning just so we can continue with those practical methods and understanding maths through gaming. And um, we are following a robust recovery curriculum for maths, following our hearts essentials. Um, and this is where it's combining some of the learning from year one that they've missed and combining it with our year two learning, anything new, so that we can kind of filter it through um, slowly and gradually with them. Um, spelling and phonics, we are doing our daily sessions, which sometimes can take up to 20 minutes. Um, we are looking at phonics and spelling patterns at the moment we're working on phase five. Um, and we are looking at alternative spellings of digraphs, of the long vowel sounds. Um, and we're also working on our links to year one and year two spellings. So at the moment, we're trying to feel confident in our year one spellings and then moving on to our year two. Um, this is a spelling lesson example, and this is where I'd have the children working and looking at the best bet of the spelling. So if this is for next week, and this is where a child will be looking at the U sounds. And if they notice that some of the U sounds happen at the end of words, they've got two options. One option is with the U E spelling and the other options with the E W. But what they can see is that with the E W, there are a lot more words with that spelling. So my best bet would be that it's most likely going to have the E W spelling. And then we'd get the children to have a go at uh, spelling a couple of words following these patterns. And then we'll be um, assessing them and giving them feedback on their spellings. Um, reading, we try and um, have regular reading sessions in class. Children are reading with an adult uh, one times a week, sometimes more. Reading at home hopefully is continuing five times per week with an adult. Um, we are starting our reading conversations this week. Um, and having regular opportunities to change books. So if you can continue reading with your child every day, that would be amazing. Thank you very much for doing that. Teaching of reading. So this is happens three times a week, and this is where we work on vocabulary building, reading out loud and performance and comprehension skills. So each week we work on a different skill of reading, and at the moment we're working on retrieval. We also have a daily class reader, and if, as I spoke, spoke of before, parents to read to your children regularly is recommended throughout primary school. This is a great opportunity for you to listen to your child, but also our adventure class, I have noticed, do love reading and they love books. So if you can continue reading to them, that would be amazing. Um, these are just some of the examples of the text that we are doing in our whole class lessons. So, so far we have read Whatever Next and Lost and Found. So if you would like to ask your children about some of those books, um, I'm sure they'd love to let you know all about that.
Um, reading journals, we continue to share them. We do share them weekly, and as we've just started, we've had a few hiccups so far, um, but we do have set days. So if your child has missed their day, that's okay, because obviously I've missed a couple of days myself because we're just getting started. But um, in the future, we all will be continuing to um, have them on the set days, which hopefully your child will start to get used to. If you'd like to know what their set days are, I can print off something and let, um, and provide that for you. Um, but in the future, if your child has not completed their um, reading journal, we'll give them, opportunity, them the opportunity to, of the weekend to catch up. And if they haven't completed it by Monday, they may be asked to complete it at lunchtime, if that is possible. Um, this is our um, curriculum map, which hopefully, I believe it is on our school website. And this is everything we're doing over the autumn term. I will not read this out for you now, because I'm sure that will bore you. But if you'd like to have a look, that is on the school website. We also have our knowledge organisers, which I said earlier is on our Google Classroom. This is just sharing key vocabulary that we'll be sharing with our children. So if you can talk to them about them and they can get a head start on what they might be using. So, for example, we'll be pre-teaching the word nutrition. You could talk to your child about the word nutrition and what it means and talking about it, having, having that in your discussions at home when you're eating your dinner would be amazing. Um, it's two-sided. It's also po uh, blue tacked to our door, adventure door. So if you want to take a picture of it, it's, it's there. Um, and this is just showing you some more vocab and some of the, more of the areas that we'll be looking at um, over the next term. If you do have any questions or queries and would like to get in contact with me, we have our admin email address, which is for our office, and my email address, which I also said is on the school website. Um, there is just one important date, which is parents' evening, which is the week beginning, Monday the 23rd of November. So thank you for listening. Just a reminder, if you do have any questions, please feel free to email me and I'll try and get back into contact with you as soon as possible. Um, and thank you for watching and thank you for having such, um, being so, um, um, I can't think of the word, helping out so much with the social distancing and the COVID measures. You've been amazing and your children have really helped and understood the process of school. I know it's been a big change, but thank you very much for being on board. I think on board was a word I was looking for, but thank you very much. Um, and I will see you soon. I need to stop sharing and here we are. I will see you soon. Thank you very much.